Now like there are specific rules regarding when punctuation should be used, especially with commas, there are some rules which tell us when not to use commas. Remember the rule I told you in the previous video, if you're not sure about whether or not you need a comma, don't use it. Rule 1. Do not use commas with other compound word groups other than independent clauses. Now let's talk about black holes and critical phenomena. A scalar field is a simple form of matter which feels two forces only, gravity produced by itself and its own pressure. Notice there's no comma after black holes and there's no comma after by itself. For example, let's presuppose that the average book is 72,000 words and that you read for an hour a day, six days a week. Notice there's no comma after the word words. Rule 2. Do not use a comma to separate a verb from its subject or object. Increasing your reading speed will allow you to read a book in a shorter period of time. Notice do not put a comma here. This approach argues that deviance results when social controls are weakened or break down so that individuals are not motivated to conform to them. Notice there's no comma after argues. Rule 3. Do not use commas before the first or after the last item in a series. Other characteristics many look for in a roommate are patience, honesty, and cleanliness. Notice there's no comma It has been said that patience, honesty, and cleanliness are other characteristics many look for in a roommate. Notice here there's no comma after cleanliness. Rule 4. Do not use a comma between cumulative adjectives, between adjectives or nouns, or between adverbs and adjectives cumulative adjectives. Off the coast of California, treasure hunters found an old sunken warship. Notice there's no comma after old. Adjectives and, and nouns. To some, the war in Iraq is a purposeless mission. Notice there's no comma after purposeless. adverbs and adjectives. The military exhibit is the most suitable for those who are really interested war enthusiasts. Notice there's no comma after really. Rule 5. Do not use commas to set off restrictive elements. Students who failed the exam will have to do extra credit if they wish to pass this class. Notice here there's no comma after students. There's no comma after exam. In this case, who did not pass the exam limits the meaning of the noun students and is therefore essential to the meaning of the sentence. Consequently, commas are not used since the adjective clause is a restrictive element. Rule 6. 
Do not use a comma to set off a concluding restrictive adverb clause. You should not forget to bring Tom because he will be the starter pitcher at the baseball game. The because adverb clause is restrictive since the sentence would have a much broader meaning without it. Hence, a comma is not used. Notice, there's no comma there after Tom. Rule 7. Avoid other misuses of the comma after coordinators. I want to go to the store, but I do not have any money. So you definitely do not want to put a comma after but. S after such as or like. Lucien has many hobbies such as skiing, swimming, hiking, and playing soccer. So notice here there's no comma after such as. Before then. During his period of greatest artistic achievement from the sound in the fury in 1929 to go down Moses in 1942, Faulkner accomplished in a little over a decade more artistically than most writers accomplish over a lifetime of writing. Here, notice there's no comma before that. After all, though, although fires are thought to be destructive and dangerous, many plants such as scrub, marshes, and pine flatwoods depend on fire in order to survive. And I'm going to put a comma there because I consider marshes and pine flatwoods as being different, not the same thing. So here, I think what we're saying here is do not put the comma after although. To set off reported speech. You said that cognitive psychology was one of the most difficult classes you have ever had to take. Notice there's no comma after said. Why? Because this is reported speech, not directly quoted speech. Do not use a comma with a question mark or an exclamation point, for example. Why don't you record the show if you're so busy? Susan asked. So here, notice after busy, you definitely do not want to put that comma there. It's not a good idea. There is an earthquake, exclaimed Junko. Again, you have your exclamation point, so do not put the comma there. That's not good. 